I'm just going to let you know that I'm leaving my last property in Illawong. Just passed in a two million and fifty thousand. No sale there. So let's run through the results today. I'm not actually going to run through the results. I'll just give you a top line number. Four out of 11 sold. Four properties out of 11 sold today. And um, hi to everyone that's come on. I'm driving from Illawong and I want to get home and I don't like what I'm seeing in the Tesla. It's telling me I've got 9% battery. And the reason I've got 9% battery is very simple. Because after the procedure that I had in hospital yesterday, when I was put asleep with the anesthetic, I haven't been thinking sharp. So last night, I never charged my car. And because I didn't charge my car, I started my day at around 45% battery. And because I've had 45% battery and I've been all over Sydney, I am now going to get home tonight at 18.53 with 1% battery in my car. And that's a worry. That's a big worry, my friends. But anyway, let's talk about real estate. So we've got a rate hike coming this Tuesday, apparently, right? And we've got a few vendors at the moment who are not accepting offers that are 20 and 30% short of the mark. I don't think that's a commercial decision. That's a smart commercial decision. I think right now, if you're 20, 30, $40,000 off your price as a vendor, get smart. Move from being a vendor to being a buyer. How do you become a buyer? It's really simple. You sell now. And then when we've got the next rate hike, you actually don't have a property or liability in the market. You've got cash. And cash is king. Cash is king. So my friends, all I can say to you is that it's becoming very clear. A new norm has set into the marketplace and my concern right now is, are the prices we're getting today going to be significantly better than the prices we're getting in three months' time? No one knows the answer to that. But one would assume that interest rate hikes are going to mean that we're going to continue to have buyers that are re-rated. I keep using that word, re-rated. Because when a buyer is re-rated, it means that they borrow less money from the bank because the bank actually gets stricter with them. And when a buyer's got less money from the bank, they offer less money. And what does that mean? It's happy days for buyers. It's a good time for buyers. If for the last two, two years, it's going to mean as a buyer, you're going to have more opportunities because prices are gonna be working in your favor. There's a term in real estate, it's called absorption rate. And absorption rate is how fast properties are being absorbed by buyers in the marketplace. And there's no question about it. We've got a slower absorption rate. Sydney, down. Melbourne, down. Hobart, down. Adelaide, hanging in. Brisbane, performing not bad. Um, but not as it used to be. WA, well, they're the star performer. After, after over a decade or nearly two decades of poor performance, they're a star performer. So that's the state of affairs, my friends. Anyway, also, as I said to you this morning, very sad news. Only five days ago, Angelo Nicholas had reached out to tell me that he wouldn't physically be able to come to Arik and that he was gonna swap his Eric pass for a virtual pass. Last night, or this morning at 2 a.m., he passed away. A 31-year-old guy had actually got married nine months ago, I think. I'm devastated. He was a friend and he was a client and we were talking regularly throughout his cancer journey. And um, I'm just devastated. Anyway, my friends, 
It's just, listen. If you're alive and you're healthy right now, just ponder on that. Millions would swap spots with me and you in an instant. I can only imagine what the pain and suffering and grieving is with his wife, with his parents, his brother. I know that you follow me and you reached out today. You're one of the greatest boxers in the country, which a lot of people don't know about uh, Angelo Nicholas. I think his name is Terry Nicholas. Um, I'm just devastated, man. Two agents, Brent Courtney, like last Friday I went to his funeral, Angelo Nicholas. Why do bad things happen to good people? We'll never know. Not in this life anyway. Anyway, guys and girls, it's freezing. And now I'm going to focus on getting home. And I'm going to sit in front of the sofa. The best $30, $40 I've ever spent in my whole life was an electric blanket. I just can't believe how much joy a $30 investment has done in my life. And also, if you're going to get one, get the throwover electric blanket. Then you got one to lie on and you got one to put on top of you while you watch sport, throw over, or whether you're watching uh, TikToking. Guys and girls, signing off.